Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to look at our reading story for this week. Our story is called Woof. It is written by Becky Bloom and illustrated by Pascal Biet. And our essential question is, what can stories teach you? Read about how stories help a woof make new friends. And we can notice looking at the picture, the story is a little bit different. Take a few minutes to look and see what do you see that is not what animals normally do? I know I see animals reading a book and wearing glasses. And he looks like the kind of animal that normally might want to chase and eat some of the others. But they're hanging out here like friends. So this tells me this story is going to be a fantasy. It's going to have things that happen that don't really happen in normal life. So, on our first page, we have, After walking for many days, a wolf wandered into a quiet little town. He was tired and hungry. His feet ached, and he had only a little money that he kept for emergencies. Then he remembered, there's a farm outside this village, he thought. I'll find some food there. As he peered over the farm fence, he saw a pig, a duck, and a cow reading in the sun. Hmm. Usually if I go to a farm, I don't see animals reading. I might see a pig, a duck, and a cow, but they're usually just wandering around. But here we have, sure enough, they are reading in the sun. The wolf had never seen animals read before, neither have I. I'm so hungry that my eyes are playing tricks on me, he said to himself. But he was really very hungry and didn't stop to think about it for long. The wolf stood up tall, took a deep breath, and leaped at the animals with a howl. Ah! Chickens and rabbits ran for their lives, but the duck, the pig, and the cow didn't budge. What is that awful noise? complained the cow. I cannot concentrate on my book. Well, that wasn't what he expected. Hmm, thinks the wolf. That looks like a pretty angry little pig here. Just ignore it, said the duck. The wolf did not like to be ignored. What's wrong with you, growled the wolf. Can't you see I'm a big and dangerous wolf? I'm sure you are, replied the pig, but could you be big and dangerous somewhere else? We're trying to read. This is a farm for educated animals. Now, be a good wolf and go away, said the pig, giving him a push. Wow. The wolf had never been treated like this before. See something interesting about the classroom here? Hmm. See what's going on there. Educated animals? Educated animals? The wolf repeated to himself. This is something new. Well then, I'll learn how to read too. And off he went to school. The children found it strange to have a wolf in their class. But since he didn't try to eat anyone, they soon got used to him. The wolf was serious and hardworking and after much effort, he learned to read and write. Soon, he became the best in the class. And I see the teachers teaching them about how to write cursive. So I'm thinking this might be a third grade class that he's in with boys and girls your age. How would you feel if we came back to school and we had a wolf in class with us? That would be very unusual. Feeling quite satisfied, the wolf went back to the farm and jumped over the fence. I'll show them, he thought. He opened the book and began to read. Run, wolf, run. See, wolf, run. 
You got a long way to go, said the duck, without even bothering to look up. And the pig, the duck, and the cow went on reading their own books, not the least bit impressed. Because they hearing that what the wolf is reading is really a very, very easy book. And that's not good enough for what they read. So they're ignoring him. It's not very nice. The wolf jumped back over the fence and ran straight to the public library. He studied long and hard, reading lots of dusty old books. And he practiced and practiced until he could read without stopping. They'll be impressed with my reading now, he said to himself. The wolf walked to the fence gate, the farm gate, and knocked. He opened the three little pigs and began to read. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and their mother called them, mama told them. Stop that racket, interrupted the duck. You have improved, remarked the pig, but you still need to work on your Style. The wolf tucked his tail between his legs and slunk away. Because all he did was read as fast as he could and he shoved all the words together. He had no idea what he was saying. When you read, it should sound like telling a story. It should be enjoyable. Oops, the pages are sticking together. There we go. But the wolf wasn't about to give up. He counted the little money he had left, went to the bookstore and bought a splendid new storybook. His first very own book. He was going to read it day and night, every letter and every line. He would read so well that the farm animals would admire him. Well, that's a big admire means they would look up to him and be like, wow, you're so cool. That's how he wants them to feel about him. look he's reading with them this is good ding dong rang the wolf at the farm gate this time he's ringing the doorbell he lay down on the grass and made himself comfortable took out his new book and began to read he read with confidence and passion and the pig the cow and the duck all listened and said not one word each time he finished the story, the pig, the duck, and the cow asked if he would please, sorry, read them another. So the wolf read on story after story. One minute he was Little Red Riding Hood, the next a genie emerging from a lamp, and then a swashbuckling pirate. This is so much fun, said the duck. He's a master, said the pig. Why don't you join us on our picnic today, offered the cow. So they all had a picnic. The pig, the duck, the cow, and the wolf. They lay in the tall grass and told stories all afternoon long. We should all become storytellers, said the cow suddenly. We could travel around the world, added the duck. We can start tomorrow morning, said the pig. The wolf stretched in the grass. He was happy to have such wonderful friends. So he used reading stories to help him become a better reader. And when he became a better reader, his, the new friends he met who really loved to read, they had that in common and so they could hang out and read together. But remember when he started, he didn't know how to read at all. He had to really practice until he got better. But he did and he didn't give up and now he's very happy with his reading. Okay boys and girls have a nice day. Bye bye.